What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Punk Rock Radar. Today we are talking Banner Pilot, one of the most underrated fat bands, one of the most underrated, I guess you can say, org core bands out there. And we've been wanting to do a video for a while on something, but there's only five records. So the question was, is it worth a uh, tier list? And maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But for now, we're going to do our top five Banner Pilot songs and I am joined today by my cat Milo, who's going to be here the whole time, I could tell. And uh, from DyingScene.com, Dylan, a.k.a. Screeching Bottle Rocket. And uh, special guest, our uh, YouTube moderator, Discord moderator, the man himself, uh, Elliot, a.k.a. Ergoth. How you guys doing today? Elliot, the hype man. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's like, uh, who's that dude from the, the Mighty Mighty Boss Zones that dances all the time? Elliot's like the punk rock radar <laughs> version of that guy. He's the man. That's me. <laughs> so in uh, Mr. Firecracker. So. Yeah, yeah. Still don't quite understand that insult from the Green Day video. <laughs> I, I, I hope it sticks. I think he was just like, because I say AKA screeching bottle rocket, right? And he's like, it was some kind, some type of firework or something. He couldn't even be bothered to go back and... Double check. Anyway, let's oh. let's get into this. And Elliot's a big Banner Pilot fan, I hear. So, what's your first pick gonna be, Elliot? Well, yeah, I, I'm a huge Banner Pilot fan. This is like a top ten band for me. Um, kind of discovered them kind a little bit after uh, they were inactive, and just kind of really resonated with me. And before I go into the pick, I'll just give a little context for kind of who Banner Pilot is. And a little, we'll work our way right into this top five here. But um, Banner Pilot is a band out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And if you're not, if you're not familiar with uh, kind of punk scene locales, um, it's kind of like in the vein of Lawrence Arms and Alkaline Trio and Jawbreaker. Those are some of their influences. Um. Uh, so. In the mid two thousands, they kind of signed to a record company called Go Kart Records, which I wasn't super familiar with. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, Go Kart Records has done some stuff with some pretty big bands. They've done things with like Anti Flag and the Men's Zingers. Um, and so after that, they went to Fat Records, and they did what I would consider is like one of the best three album runs of any band, in my opinion. So they kind of did that, and then they just kind of broke up. And or I'm not sure if they broke up, or is that what you're saying, John? You're, they just you stopped sure existing. Yeah. They just kind of stopped doing stuff, and there's like no nothing on kind of what happened. But all I can kind of piece together here um, is there's an interview with Fat Mike where he kind of mentions Banner Pilot when he's kind of talking about how Fat works. And Fat Records is kind of like a vehicle that you can kind of, you you come to fat, you kind of put in your own gas, and you kind of drive the car. But they kind of supply you with it. And he gave Banner Pilot as basically a band that kind of self-financed almost everything they did at fat. And uh, my only guess is it, it probably just stopped being very profitable and they kind of went their own ways. But nobody has ever said anything on it, so we're not quite sure. But <laughs> it's a band I like a lot, and I'll, I'll go into the specifics of it. But we'll we'll start off with my first pick, which will be... Uh, Northern Skylines off of Collapser. So, yeah, this is the start of the really good albums from Banner Pilot, the three albums that I like. Mm. Um, and you'll notice something pretty cool about this song is the bass tone. It's a, a very specific part of Banner Pilot where the bass is, like, very uh, dominant and very definitive. And it's almost like the guitars are more of, like, in the background, in the bass takes center stage, and it's definitely prevalent on the opening of this song, and it's one of my favorite songs off Collapser. But uh, what do you guys think of Northern Skyline? Well, I just noticed that I have yet another typo, uh, N O R H T, which is fine. <laughs> uh, it's it's been some late nights, so this is two videos in a row with a typo. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to have like a little anecdote about Collapser when I get to my pick. But I mean, yeah. the long story short, I don't think there's a single bad song on there. Uh, it's it's my S tier Banner Pilot record for sure. If there was just one, it's Collapser. 
Uh, Dylan, what do you think? Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, the every bit, pretty much every banner pilot record, the bass, uh, it's like the same bass tone. It's very like mechanical almost. But anyway, it's very mechanical sounding. It's not like pretty, but it it's like it does what it's supposed to do. I I like the bass sound on all the banner pilot albums. I, I was kind of looking it up just because I was curious how they kind of get this bass sound. And uh, for anybody who wants to know, apparently they use a Fender Deluxe P. So if you're gonna try to copy that bass sound, maybe look into getting a Fender Deluxe P. <laughs> there we go. So we need some more banner record. pilots. So somebody go pick that up and write some more banner pilot songs. The pilot yeah. flies on. All right, yeah, pick number one for Mr. Firecracker is going to be uh, Fireproof. I think that's it. Yeah, Fireproof mm-hmm. from uh, my least favorite banner pilot album, Souvenir. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not a bad album. It just never caught on with me, or it still hasn't to this point, really. But uh, this is one of my favorite songs from the album, and it's also one of the more upbeat songs on the album. Uh, and I don't think that's any coincidence. Uh, yeah, what do you guys think of Fireproof? Yeah, so, like, I, I think you might be right. Like, of the th- of the three fat albums, I think Souvenir may be my least favorite, but I, I could still, like, get down with every song. It was It was, like, a struggle for me to pick one from souvenir just so i can have one because i first of all i i realize i cannot really name any banner pilot songs off the top of my head because i usually just listen to the record but yeah fireproof was in my top five i was i wrote down like which am i going to pick from souvenir and this was on there it's a great track uh ellie Ellie, what do you think of fireproof before i get into my pick yeah fireproof was probably going to be my choice but i ended up picking another one off of souvenir i used to make all these uh mix cds back in the day and fireproof was on one of them and so we'd be playing fireproof on road trips all the time it's it's a great pick great song right on all right i'll get into my pick here which is going to be, in my opinion, the best Banner Pilot song. It is Skeleton Key. And uh, it's off of Collapser, of course, like I said. A uh, little, little of my Banner Pilot backstory. Uh, I actually got Resignation Day when it was still on Go-Kart before the, uh, the Fat signing. It was one, there's like a few bands where I was in early, uh, the Flatliners and Banner Pilot being two of them. And when this came out, when this one, Collapser, came out, I had just moved to New Jersey. I was working Night Shift. And there was this album, and then there was the Swellers Ups and Downsizing that were, like, my theme records to work in the Night Shift in New Jersey. So I have, like, bittersweet memories of those days. But, like, I remember, like, from the first time I've heard I heard uh, Collapser. Like, Skeleton Key for me was the standout track there. Um, I have another song from this coming up that I, is, like, very, very similar chord progression. I think a lot of this album is similar chords, like the same four chords on quite a bit. But it doesn't matter because the melodies are all good. The song is great. And I know Dylan agrees because, uh, well, Dylan, why, why don't you get into it? What is your pick number two? <laughs> Oh, it's a it's a <laughs> song. I don't know if you heard it. It's called Skeleton Key from uh, Collapser, the album by Banner Pilot. <laughs> uh, I don't think you've you've uh, said anything about that. Uh, yeah, great song, great album. Uh, I don't know if Collapser is my favorite, but it's like their first like legit like s- s- pretty fucking well produced album. I feel like this is where all the pieces fell into place for Banner Pilot. Uh, and yeah, this is a awesome song, awesome like sing along chorus. I uh, can't can't go wrong with Skeleton Key. Yeah, Skeleton Key was the first Banner Pilot song I ever heard, and I think that was the one that got me hooked. So yes, uh, it's not my pick. I think it because I might have worn it out a little bit. Um, I've listened to this song so many times. But it, it's a great, great choice, great song. So, right on. what do you got next for us, Elliot? 
Okay, my pick number two is going to be Hold Fast off of Souvenir. Um, Yeah, this is... A souvenir is probably my third favorite Banner Pilot album. It's definitely the weaker of the that three-album run for Fat, but it's still a great album, and it's still... You can listen to it from start to finish. And um, it was... It has some really cool lyrics. I'll give like a quick little example. I kind of got a lyric down from it. There's a lot of great melodies from it. The chorus is really good where it's like, I lose myself sometimes, these no name streets. It gets stuck in your head. But the, the lyric I want to point out is this one. It's really good. It's uh, raise my glass to starting over, knock on wood, we're getting warmer. So you raise your glass, knock on wood, you're taking a shot. And nice. then getting warmer, you drank alcohol. Just cool little kind of poetic things they do there. Like some very simple stuff, but it, it's really cool writing. Mm-hmm. I, so, and they do that a lot, stuff like that. Little, little tiny little things like that. But they, I don't know they, if you guys. They nail that ahead. Midwest like mindset in the writing. Yeah, for sure. Even though like, always, is is, is is Minneapolis Midwest, it's like so far north, but I still think, yeah. it's, it's, still think it's considered it. But North Midwest. Yeah, that's the thing. You call them an orgcore band. They're a Midwest punk band. They're still, yeah. I think they're still orgcore, in my opinion. <laughs> the raspy vocals, the flannel shirts, they're an orgcore band, in my, in my non-professional opinion. I don't like calling them that because I think orgcore is a terrible genre name, but <laughs> Spotify <laughs> recognizes it now. So. I know because of Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Elliot, I'm going to stay with you on souvenir. I'm going to go with the one that I actually did pick. So you guys took fireproof and hold fast, which I had in like my top five ish. Then like after you took those, I was, I was between effigy shoreline dead tracks and colfax and it started to like dawn on me too like this may it may be like my it's my least favorite of the fat but it's like i always considered it down there in the discography but i had a really tough time just picking one song off of it and it's like if i started at track one i'm not really like skipping i i don't know if it's mm-hmm. nothing is sticking out like it, it they do kind of flow like most banner pilots albums do but if i had to pick one i'm gonna i'm gonna go with effigy it's it's there now i, I was gonna switch it but it's a lot of work to get these <laughs> together but um ellie what do you think of the pick overall so i you you know this record is probably better than both of dylan and i so what are your thoughts on effigy yeah, that's probably like my second or third pick. It was up there with Modern Shakes for me. So it was yeah. pretty close. Um, I think I just wanted a Hold Fast was just kind of a, a late bloomer for me, but Effigy mm-hmm. is definitely up there. It's a great pick. So nice. Nice. All right. So I think we all have the same next pick. It's just how it worked mm-hmm. out. So, which of you guys wants to uh, wants to reveal it here? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, our third pick, all of us, is Spanish Reds. <laughs> <laughs> collective pick. The collective pick here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> you, well, you put I, it in fourth, John. I messed up, but it's it's too late now. <laughs> We're Again, go out of order. <laughs> it's a well oiled machine here at yes. Punk Rock. <laughs> Oh my god! All right, so what do you guys like about this track? Um, is it about cigarettes? No, Spanish Reds is a uh, Spanish red wine. He just, oh. man, I'm not big oh. on lyrics. It's a badass song though. I love the <laughs> extended guitar intro uh, mm. with that one note uh, solo. Big fan of that. Uh, uh, yeah, awesome, awesome fucking song, man. Not much to say. I'm not big on lyrics uh so yeah i always thought the song was about cigarettes i i I did too i I, you know i once you read it though he says drinking spanish reds then i thought Uh, it was a beer and then i realized he's just talking about spanish red wine they they talk about wine a lot i thought it was smoking spanish reds (laughs) no no (laughs) 
I always that, thought it was smoking Spanish Reds. Yeah, th- th- this song is like the to me. This is like the definitive Banner Pilot song. Like, if you're gonna show anybody a Banner Pilot song, if they've never heard of Banner Pilot, you show them Spanish Reds. Uh, Dylan's right. The the guitar riff and the build up is really just like gets you hyped up and brings you right into the song. And uh, they do the more kind of melancholy singing on this one where they're not just full on rasp. And then they go into the raspiness with the chorus. And I really like that too. But th- to me, this is like the definitive banner pilot song. This is the banner pilot song. I, I want to work in a little bit of trivia here for you guys. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is the second most popular banner pilot song on Spotify. Yeah. Without cheating. What do you guys think is number one? Well, I cheated. I have Spotify pulled up. Uh, so. <laughs> well, I, I know it's alchemy. Okay. It's six million plays. Six million. This has one point. It's a big gap. He's got it pulled up, too. Don't listen to him. So where was where was <laughs> alchemy? Was it on like a comp or something somewhere? How no, did... it's it's the first song off a of heart's beat specific. It's the opening track. That's wild that it would. I yeah, mean, so and this it's... is the best Vanner Pilot album after all, in my estimation. Yeah, me too. Uh, Sorry, John. It's number two. It's number two for <laughs> me. And I like it is. Like, I just listened to um, Collapser so much mm-hmm. that like a lot of times when I do that. It'll like uh, this is when I still had a CD player in my car. I didn't quite have the uh, iPod hookup at this point. Like normally, when you listen to something over and over and over again, it starts to fall. But it always stayed up there for me. So that's why mm-hmm. I'm, I'm staying true for Collapser, even though I think the song quality itself is better on Heart's Beat. I just like uh, Collapser is just right here for me, so I'm gonna keep it as my favorite. And to go off of that. Now I'm not sure what's in my number three spot. I guess I'm going to find out. Um, <laughs> let's. <laughs> okay. So to go off of that, let's go with the opener off of Collapser. And um, I feel like this is the opener, but I feel like the end, like that, the last part of it, where it's like, had another year turn out so bad, like get outlined in chalk, like just throw some lyrics out, out there. Um, I, I just feel like it really picks up there and it flows right into spoiler alert, maybe another one of my picks, but I just, I thought this was the perfect opener, uh, for collapser. Um, but yeah, what do you, what do you guys think of uh central standard here? Yeah, this, this is a, this is a great opener as well. It's something that's really cool with uh banner pilot this and you start seeing this some when you listen to it enough. There's kind of like like some blink influence, especially with like the bass guitar and some of the bass riffs and some of the melodies. It, it, it does sound like Tom DeLong could be singing it. And they also kind of have that thing where it's like everything is a chorus. Like the verse is a yes. chorus. The chorus is a chorus. Everything has a very catchy melody. And Central Standard is kind of like a perfect example of that. So it's a good pick. Yeah, to me, Central Standard sounds like a, a Dillinger Four song almost. I don't know about bl- about Blink. I'll have to analyze that a little more afterwards. Yeah, um, I swear, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but Dylan, what I, do you think I on Central say, and uh, your pick? Yeah, I want the transition uh, is almost on par. I'll let, let my less than Jake fanboy out here. Central Standard into Pensacola, almost as good a transition as yes. Happy Man into Ninth at Pine. Uh, but yeah, I like how it's not just like a fade. It's like a it, it's like a hard cutoff, and then the yeah hits the snare a few times, and then it starts. To, yeah, oh, I like that. All right, my uh, my fourth pick is gonna be uh, mile marking from I don't remember. Okay, yeah, I see the picture. It's from Resignation Day. Um, yeah, uh, another awesome album. I like that you brought up, uh, Go-Kart. I don't know, fun facts, since we're bringing all the f- fucking fun facts tonight. Go-Kart Records, founded by Dave from The Parasites. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is an awesome song, awesome record. Uh, I don't have a whole lot to say about it specifically, because this whole album sounds pretty samey. Uh, I will say I do like the little guitar lead, uh, 
in the beginning of the song, and then they I think they sprinkle it in throughout the song again too. All right, and Elliot, I know you agree. So uh, yes, yes, yeah. My fourth pick is also mile marking, which I'm pretty surprised by. That uh, I thought I'd be the only one picking this song off. Yeah. By the way, we did not share in advance what we picked, really. So this is all coincidence. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, it's a great song. I uh, love the opening guitar. This is also like probably the fastest tempo you'll ever hear Banner Pilot go, like songs off Resignation Day and st- stuff like that. But yeah, it's a cool little song about uh, just trying to get to somebody you love. And a lot of Banner Pilot songs are about driving and the weather is really terrible and you're really <laughs> sad and <laughs> you're contemplating Alcoholic. life. <laughs> you're drinking, you're smoking, you're falling asleep at the wheel. Uh and there's a great little lyric in this one too, since uh, I'll be the lyric guy. Do Dylan's it. not the lyric guy. Lyric uh, metagaming. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I'll scrape the freezing rain off this window pane, a couple states from saying eyes aching, drift awake. Uh, it's just cool just how everything rhymes into each other. They're really great at just connecting these rhymes. So it's very poetic. But, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. Was say, yeah. but... <laughs> All right, so Dylan, you're up first for round oh, one. I am. Um, real quick, because I had, um, well, I'll, I'll save it for my honorable mentions. Dylan, what do you got for honorable mentions and last pick? Uh, honorable mentions? Uh, <laughs> fuck, man. Uh, I have Sunbelt Scars, I was going to pick yeah. that, but I picked what I'm going to pick here on my last pick instead. Uh, Bender also, also, I love Pass the Poison. I, I feel like we should have picked more shit off that album or that, uh, it's an EP technically. That was actually, I'm a fucking OG Banner Pilot fan. That was, Pass the Poison was the first record I listened to by them. Um, a red line from Heartbeat Specific. Yes. Again, that's my favorite, uh, Banner Pilot album. Uh, 40 Degrees, Alchemy, basically any fucking song off that album. Uh, empty lot. I could, I could go on for like 20, 40 songs probably. Uh, anyway, my last pick in the top five is going to be Portland Lights from Past the Poison. Um, really fucking cool bass intro on this song, and uh, probably one of the more like melodic and like poppy. I want to say on Past the Poison. <laughs> So, Past the Poison is definitely the one I'm least familiar with, man. I'll be honest with you. I, I, um, I'll hit my honorable mentions real quick. Um, from Resignation Day, I, I feel like if you were around, like if you were around the punk scene when this came out, everybody heard Over Winter first. That's the way I remember it. Uh, Emptier Bottles, I think, is my favorite track off of there. Uh, I don't want to talk anymore about Collapser, but from Heartbeat specific, Redline would be my number two. And let's hit one more. I Actually, I gave like five off of Souvenir, so I'm, I'm good on honorable mentions. I'll go with my last pick here. I'm going to go Pensacola, which I, I realized when I did this, I was spelling Pensacola wrong my whole life. I always thought there was two N's, but... I, is this is I let me check right now before I say something wrong again. I believe it's track. This is track two. Yes. Okay. So I said it before. I was like, let me make sure I'm right. Dylan mentioned the transition. Um, these are two amazing songs back to back. I I kind of always listen to them together. So I'm going Pensacola with my last pick. So Elliot, thoughts on Portland Lights, Pensacola, honorable mentions, yeah. and last pick. Keep it up, I keep it up, I keep it up, I fall it down. Keep it up, I... It's the okay. lore master. Elliot, can you confirm if Pensacola is named after the town in Florida? I expect uh, you I... to know the answer to this. Uh yes. No, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. Pensacola is a great song. You said the two the two intro songs on Collapse are like really good. And Port- Portland Lights, I'm not crazy. I don't remember that one as much. Past the Poison was one I kind of like dismissed as I didn't like it, and I revisited yeah. it 
not too long ago, and it actually holds up pretty good. They kind of got the formula, like the basics of it, down and passed the poison. So, but yeah, an honorable mention for me would be Sunbelt Scars off the past the poison, um, Alchemy, um. Intervention was another one of the first Banner Pilot songs I've ever listened to, and uh, I learned how to play that acoustic, and I would do that when we used to busk down at uh, the Metro Station. I'd be playing Intervention. Nice. But um, my final pick here is probably my favorite. This is my favorite Banner Pilot song. This is uh, Division Street off of Hearts Beat Specific. So this is a five minute long song, but it is at the end of the album, <laughs> and so it's it's wow. totally forgivable. And I don't know, it's just such a great album closer. And kind of the intro into the chorus, when I, I'm like listening to this, driving, the weather's bad, heartbreak. It, it, <laughs> it, it just, uh, <laughs> it gives me chills still a little bit. Like, I, I think when it goes into that chorus, it's, it's kind of uh, just really good. It's such a great transition into it. And uh, if I've had better days, then they're hard to remember. I've been stuck in a bender before we met. There wasn't anything. So I love that intro lyrics right there. I'll, I'll you know, one yeah. of my favorite songs. What do you guys think? I, I really like this song too. I, I've said on this channel so many times that if a song is like five minutes, I probably don't like it. If it's four minutes, I probably don't like it, but this is their closers are, are all really good. Like I was just like looking yeah. now, like write it down. Right is another kind of longer one for them. Then you got Summer Ash, and then this one. They're all bangers. They're all like a little bit of yeah. a kind of cool down, like a lower uh, lower energy. But they're all good. That's Banner Pilot. I'm good with all their like mid tempo stuff. Uh, but Dylan, what do you think of Division Street? Yeah, that like minute outro with the just the it, <laughs> instrumental is like almost fucking like hypnotizing. Like you could put that on as on a loop as like white noise or something. Punk rock white noise. But yeah, awesome song. Like I said, awesome fucking record. Uh spoiler alert if we ever do Banner Pilot. Tier list, uh Heartbeat Specific is a lock for the S tier. It's just a such a fucking great album. So um if we did Banner Pilot tier list, Dylan, yeah. where 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 would you guys put past the poison? Honestly, that I'll be like that is my firm D. Like, yeah, that's firm. That's firm D for me. I mean, it, it, it's really good. I still like it, but it's it would be in D tier in comparison to other albums. Yeah. It's a C. A C. Okay. Whoa, whoa. What's in D? <laughs> You have to watch the video to find out, <laughs> even though I revealed two two fifths of my picks already. Maybe yeah, it's the I just split with the monikers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I, I have Pass the Poison on cassette and vinyl LP record playing CD compact maneuver. Uh, oh, man. I feel like a fake fan right now. Yeah. He went <laughs> all in on a CTR record. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bought it from uh, Traffic Street Records, and then the guy, like, scammed everybody and turned out to be, like, a fucking, like, meth head or something, and he never shipped it. And then uh, whoever <laughs> actually released it saved the day. I forget who. Ki um, Kiss the something. I don't remember. The oh, is it Kiss name. of Death? or? Yeah, Kiss of Death. They yeah. They ended up, like, shipping me the record instead. I feel I feel like they did the vinyl for yeah they resignation did. day, is that uh I don't know they did pass the poison but I, I don't know about I that. like so I I like we said it before Lewis worked that go kart and I did not get resignation day from him like I I feel like I had it from Kiss of Death I could be wrong but it was like a screen printed cover and everything was legit. Again, there's a million sob story videos about my record collection and how it's no longer with me. But, uh, but yeah, that was one of them. Well, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, so one episode, one day. So I sold most of it on eBay, uh, the Fat Rec Wiki, and Vinyl Collective. I think, I mean, Discogs was around, but this, I, don't, I don't think it was where it's at now. And so I took a picture of all of them. 
and it's saved in my Google Drive. And like whenever I want to be really upset, I just scroll through all those photos. So I was saying like one day when I'm just feeling really terrible, I'm going to do a video of scrolling through my memories of all my lost records. And Banner Pile will be there. All these records will be there. But yeah, that's it. Um, guys, anything else you want to say? I, I got a little poetic myself. All the Banner Pilot lyrics got me in this headspace. <laughs> um, but any, anything else to say, guys, before we wrap this one up? God bless Minnesota, the home of uh, Miller High Life, Miller <laughs> Brewing Company. I think that I think I, that. Yeah, Minnesota. Yeah, that's true. That's a fact. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, Elliot, anything to say about Minnesota or Banner Pilot? Uh, no, all I know is after this, I'm probably going to go outside, smoke a few Spanish reds, and just kind of <laughs> think wax poetic on, on life and everything like that. So it's been a good time. So And uh, don't forget to join the Discord, yes. like the video, leave a comment, do all, all the YouTube things. So... Listen to what he said. Yep. And we'll see you all. We'll see you all next time.